what's up guys what's going on hope you are good okay so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you how i made this sniper entry guys i want you to pay close attention to my entry right here so you can see this entry you have not seen anything like this before i bet i bet i bet you have not seen anything like this before but all the same um i'm going to share with you how to do this in this video all right so you just have to relax and don't think i just started making video because the price i've played out where no in my telegram channel i dropped this setup you can check the link in the description check the telegram channel check when i dropped this on vs75 i dropped four different setups which three of them played out only one did not meet up our setup okay so we didn't take the last trade all right so this is just one of it but just see the entry the one that interests me so much is this one because of how this price the entry and the point the price started to reverse in my favor so this kind of entry is not actually done most time using instant ex execution so this is for i use pending order for this particular entry and i'm here to share with you how to do the same thing and you can see my stop loss is here very close and you look at my tp is one is two four point something i think one is to five close to one is to five on this particular trade so let's dive into it first off you have to check go on a higher time frame you know before you start even thinking of making this kind of entry you have to consider the higher time frame okay so on a higher time frame if you look closely you're going to see we have is a particular candle i want you to always look out for okay i want you to always look out for doji okay indecision but you needed one with a long week either to the upward direction or with a long week towards the uh, down downside okay you can have something like this you know i'm just sketching you are looking for something like this or something like this on a higher time frame like daily time frame or you want to see it on four hours but i prefer starting from daily once you see that candlestick right there okay once you see that candlestick right there you remember that's going to be this actually this candlestick shows that the price pushed all the way up to this level but was closed okay there are a lot of selling pressure at this point okay then if you go to a lower time frame you are going to see within this zone what is called fair value gap okay you are going to see uh the fair value gap i think i've explained this in this channel but i will still explain again so fair value gap is simply where where the um first and the third candle stick in a particular chart did not overlap let me just use that it's just simple definition so look at when you have this candlestick this way and you have the next one this way and you have the next one this way so we are level this the first one this one is going to be the first let's say this is the first candle one this is candle two and this is candle three so now this kind of have weak this one have small weak here this one have weak there's no weak down this one have weak and this is it so now when the week of the definition is when the week of the first candle and the third candle did not overlap with the the particular charts at that point have created a gap that's the definition if you understand this this way it will be best for you when the the week of the first candle and the week week of the second candle okay did not overlap sorry the third candle did not over, overlap there must be a gap within the second candle so if you look at this week you can see the week of the first one where it's uh, it's ended here okay this is where the week of the first one ended okay the week of the third candle look at where it's ended here so between this zone here from the the week of the first and the week of the third there is no uh retracement at that point so that is called the fair value gap okay so in the lower time frame if you go down if you see a doji on a higher time frame and you go down if you see something like this on a higher time frame if you go down to like four hours you are going to see within this zone you are going to see something like this within this zone 
we are going to see this with week week here you see the week here see the week here so between here and here the price have created a gap so this is exactly what is called gap and this is exactly where you are going to be waiting for okay let's say that this this is all bearish candle you are going to be waiting for the price to push back to this zone and once the price push back to correct that gap okay to correct the gap okay you are going to be looking for selling opportunity that is simple guys very simple so if you look at this particular point you have this doji right here so the next thing you are going to do is to switch to four hours time frame okay on four hours time frame look at what i'm saying we have the first candle here we have the bearish candle and second candle and you have the third candle here so between this look at the week of the third candle where it stopped and look at the the, the uh week of the second candle where it stopped so between here and here we have what is called fair value gap so all you need to do now is to focus your entry at this zone okay you can go with the high or you go with the low anyone works you can decide to set your pending order at the high of that fair value gap or at the low of that fair value gap so anyone can work all right so once the price push back to your fair value gap the price will likely going to drop that's exactly what i did i dropped the signal in the um uh, telegram group before when i dropped the signal the price is still here if you go, i want you to go to the do you want to go and join my telegram with the link is in the description go and join the description of this video this is where the price was then i i forecasted that the price is going to push all the way to the upward direction to trigger our sell order before selling so all these things you are seeing here have not played out when I drop the signal. So this is you understanding the, the, the charts or the market you are trading and doing exactly the same thing that is likely going to you know, happen. You forecast the market the right way, okay, based on price action, previous price action. You can check this thing yourself, backtest it and see how it works. But I decided to share with you, break down the chart, share with you how I actually made my entry. I'm the type of person who is not stingy with uh, strategy because I know strategy alone cannot make you profitable. No matter how you learn the strategy, it's not enough to make you profitable. So if you understand the strategy, then apply proper risk management. You can see here, look at my stop loss here, look at my TP here. So what if, if you see this kind of entry and you set your TP here and your stop loss here, one is to one, how do you how, how do you want to become profitable? At the end of the day, when you lose one trade, you have already lost the profit you paid. But now the risk reward is decent that even if I lost the next four trades, my profit is still intact. I still have little profit remaining. That is why risk management is so important. That is why psychology is so important. Now, let me show you a bit. This is about risk management. That's why I say strategy is not just enough for you to become profitable okay this one is for strategy on sorry uh, risk reward understanding uh, um the important that uh, uh, important of uh risk reward or the role that risk reward plays when you are placing a trade okay you can see with a good risk reward you 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 are heading towards becoming a profitable trader but if you have very bad risk reward there's no strategy that's on earth that will make you profitable all right that's number one the next thing is psychology okay psychology i don't know how um i'll keep saying this thing okay psychology is nothing that will mess you up so strategy is not just enough in the sense that if you look here okay if i go to 15 let me go to like 15 minutes time frame or five minutes time frame remember this price drops from here and after dropping you can see that we have this bullish candle to this level do you know that some people some human being who is who call him uh, him or herself a trader is going to close this trade here because the price is now going up oh i don't want to lose this more money i've made they are going to close their trade here look at look at how little they are not they are they not they did not even make up to one is to one they are going to close their trade right here because they are afraid that the price is retracing back the price might go up and even hit me out i don't want to lose the little money i've made they are going to close and take little amount of money and how you make money with that kind of mindset if they escape this one 
they have this one to battle with. If they escape, they have this one to battle with. Escape, they have this one to battle with. They have a lot of things to battle with that will mess up their psychology and they are going to close their trade on time instead of waiting to take all this move, guys. Okay? The, 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 the movement is going to mess up their psychology and they are going to be closing trade anyhow. Even when they, they're not supposed to close the trade, they are going to close because they don't want to lose the profit they have made. So that's why I said that uh, uh, strategy is not enough to make you profitable. You have to consider strategy. You have to add risk uh, uh, management, money management, risk reward, anything you call it. Then you have to consider psychology. Make sure that you have the you are in a right mindset, okay? And not just mindset. You have to backtest any strategy you want to use to build confidence. When you have confidence in a strategy. Whether it's giving you a pullback, whether it push you back into losses, you still have a, 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 that confidence that this price is still going to go my way because this is the strategy I've tested over time, and it's giving me good, uh, uh, um, um, in terms of the percentage of win loss. Okay, it's giving me good percentage, and I, uh, you, you trust the strategy based on back testing. That's how you build trust. You build confidence if you back test the strategy. So you don't care whatever the price is doing, any manipulation that is going on, pullbacks, retracements, choppy, ranging, anything is not your problem. You, you have set your stop loss, you have set your TP, whatever the price we do, it's not your business. So guys, this is it, this is the strategy, this is everything. You can clearly see that. Also remember it's the real account, it's not, it's not just stuff like that, so it's the real account. So that's that for this. I hope this video is helpful. I hope you are going to apply these things. Okay. And if you apply this simple strategy, you are going to make money with this strategy. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now, guys. Don't forget to uh, like this video. Don't forget to share. If you want to join my Telegram, you can. You, you know, I, I drop these setups uh, at least two times, three times in a week or once in a week, depending on how free I am. And I'm doing that free. I'm not. I am. I don't have any paid signal group. I don't even do general mentorship again. Everything about my mentorship have ended. Apart from my own, I have this. I have noticed that I wasted a lot of time. That's why I'm saying this towards the last part of this video because definitely most people are not going to watch to this. Uh, length they were not, they are not going to watch this video till now but the truth is back i think like two years ago 2022 23 i spent a lot of time trying to mentor people but i noticed something that people take you for granted when you try to do things free and when you do things small with small amount of money they don't even people don't take it serious all right so i i invested more time in people last year and last two, in fact, last year is worst. I invested, I do one week mentorship program, I do monthly, daily, all those kind of stuff. I can't do that again. So, um, nothing like um, account management, nothing like uh, Signal, nothing like mentorship, group mentorship. I only do one on one mentorship program. If you are not ready, it's your business, all right? So, anything about group mentorship for now, no more. I only do one-on-one -on -one mentorship. So you don't tell me that someone scammed you in my name or someone collected money for Signa or for mentorship, anything. Everything I'm doing is one-on-one. -on -one. So you life, you are seeing me, I'm seeing you, we are doing stuff. There's nothing like any... So if you go to anywhere and someone send you account number, anything, you pay money, you should know that you are the one who decided to throw your money in the air. All right, so remember, there's another thing, I'm, 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 another opportunity I want to expose to you guys. Those who are in my Telegram group, I'm going to be doing live section, okay, both on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I'm going to drop the link. It will be also in my Telegram group. You follow me on Instagram, I'm going, I'm going to be starting live trading sections, okay, uh, this year. I'm starting next month, which is in two days' time or in a day time, I guess. So I'm starting February, uh, by February, I'm going to start live section. So it's going to be free, okay, free of charge. So join my Telegram group or, or follow me on Instagram to, you know, get these updates and the link. Thank you guys for your time and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Enjoy.